Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome to another One Shot Saturday. Today I'm playing Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. This is a very sweet, slightly sad, melancholy game where you actually control two different brothers with one controller, where each one is controlled by a different control stick. And we start out with one of the brothers on a cliffside looking at a grave. Now, this game was kind of interesting in how it did its controls because you change it up depending on what action you do is depending on like what's surrounding you. You just have one action button to control each brother. But we'll get into that when we actually get to some gameplay. Aww. Sitting here at the grave of his mother. It's very sad. We actually have a flashback here that the mother was actually drowning, but he couldn't swim, so he couldn't save her. Well, wow, we're off to a really bright and cheerful start here, aren't we? Not a happy beginning at all. Now, something interesting in this game, it doesn't have any sort of traditional dialogue. The characters don't speak in intelligible words. It's more conveyed with emotions, uh, grunts and noises, stuff you can't quite understand. But it conveys the feeling pretty well, I think. Poor kid blames himself for his mother's death. But hey, there's the spirit of the mother. Oh, she came back to comfort him. It's so sweet. Just as long as this doesn't turn into one of those horror movies where the ghost tries to kill him. No, this isn't one of those kind of stories. And here we go. We've got the elder brother calling. Because their dad has been injured. No clue what happened. If he's sick or if he had a accident or what but loading him onto a cart and now it's time to actually wheel him into the city let's see if we can go get some help for him now this is a it's i guess best described as a puzzle adventure game it's not really heavy on the action so yeah here we go you have the left trigger to control a big brother and right trigger to control little brother those are their action buttons and you move them independently right control stick is for the little brother and left control stick is for the big brother okay little awkward here it's been a while since i played this game okay why won't you turn oh yeah right because i have to turn them both together it actually makes me think when they're controlling stuff like this a little bit of katamari controls have to use both sticks correctly, both independently of each other and together. It's definitely a little easier when they're on their own and not both trying to pull slash push a cart. All right, we've almost got it to here. Let's get it on the platform. This game does a lot of storytelling with very little framing. Okay. Can we pull that, please? Nope. Little brother's too weak. It's another example where the different characters do different things better than each other. Alright. And you cannot actually have... Uh, I'm pretty sure you cannot have the big brother in front. The little brother has to be the one in front. Though, now that I say that, I'm not 100% sure. We'll test it out on this next spot here. Next time we have to move him. All right, bring him around. And here, set him up and you can vault on up. And then you toss down a rope. So it's simple puzzles like this that kind of make up the game. Now, don't get me wrong, they get more complex as time goes on. All right. Rotate it. Good. Bring him on up. 
get it all the way. There we go. Now, let's see. Can we have him in front? Yes, we can. Okay, I was mistaken. Oh, here we go. Found the medicine man. We'll get him on into the house. Let's see if we can't help him out at all. I like the aesthetic of this game. It's very... It's simple, but it gets the point across pretty well. Oh, yeah, he definitely... I think he's sick is what it's supposed to be. <laughs> the noises. There's one thing that might save him. Nah, forget it. <laughs> yeah, some special tree or sap from the tree could heal him. So, what else are brothers to do but go on an adventure to try and find the mystical sap to save their ailing father. And that's pretty much the whole basis for the start of the adventure right there. And again, yeah, I like how they convey tone and emotion pretty well, even without using any actual dialogue. You can tell they worry for him, but, you know, nothing they can do. They just gotta press onward. So, time to start our adventure in earnest. And we have a couple ways we can go. First, we got this guy. Won't let us pass. I want to punch him, but we can't do that. Slide on down here. Now remember, little brother can't swim. So yeah, if you couldn't tell what exactly was going on there, Big Brother is letting Little Brother hold on to his shoulders and he swims across. They help each other out through the whole adventure. Uh, oh, that's not a way up. I gotta keep going this way. And here we reach a beach. There we go. Get onto land. And then we can climb on up. Oop. Hey, it's that punk again. He won't let us through. <laughs> Look, pounding on the door. Does nothing. So, gonna have to keep going around other ways. I love the synchronized jumping there. Okay, climb on up. It is really weird to have little brother on the left since the right control stick controls him. Okay, sorry about the cut there. My game crashed, apparently. So, made it inside the city and see what's going on here. We have the ability to change the camera. So, yep, yeah, can spin it around, kind of get a better view. Hey, old man taking a nap. There we go. So, let's see, can we wake him up? Nope. But, I believe we can head over this way. Yeah. Okay, I've got to get them back. Yeah. On the correct sides. Uh, hello, grab a hold. It is surprisingly both more and less awkward than you would expect to control two characters at the same time with differing control sticks. Okay, slide on down. I like the subtle differences where, like, Big Brother stays on his feet and sort of surf slides down, whereas Little Brother kind of falls to his bum. And Big Brother cannot fit through the pen. 
Yeah, I love this. Let's open the door. And the dog chases him. Oh, he's scared of a little dog. It's so cute. So we're good now. We'll keep going. Hey, found a wishing well. Eh, spit down into the well. It's funny that, you know, one of them just sort of looks. The other one actually, like, little kid spits. Yeah, yeah. I love the little dance he does. So yeah, that's what you get for being a jerk. So we'll move onward here, and what are we gonna find as we go up this hill? Oh, the guy playing with his cat. It's so cute. Now let's see, I don't think, yeah, we can't go up this way, cause bridge is up. Wrong character. Go this way. And let's see if we can find a way to lower it. Mm, nothing over here. Let's look around a little bit. You say anything, buddy? Nope. Or maybe I do have to just push on the bridge. I honestly, I can't remember. It's been a couple years since I last played this game. Okay. Oh, have to wake him up. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, stupid kid. Do you do anything different if you try to wake him up? Oh, yes, yes, you do. Little kid's kind of a jerk. But we got the guy awake. Let's see, you gonna let us go through now? Ah, now that he's awake, he'll actually listen to us and lower the bridge. That's right. And now we leave the village to head outward on our adventure proper. Well, we're still heading out. It's not quite where we need to go yet. And he spits in another well. So silly. So here we are on the outskirts. This, you know, these nice ladies just sweeping, enjoying their day. And hey, this kid playing with a ball. Wonder if we can play with them. Can I? Can I play with you? No? Alright, fine. We'll just wander down and continue on our dire adventure. You can stick to the road, you can go around the side. It gives you a little bit of variation the way, you know, normal pathways are. Don't worry, not going to spit into that uh, well this time. Alright, push the gate. Apparently they couldn't be in the positions I had them in, they had to switch. Now we head down here, and got an old man playing a harp. What do you say, buddy? You say anything to us? Nope. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Can you do anything? Nope. Just a little brother action. Thankfully, he's not scared of water, he just can't swim. See, I don't think... Yeah, we'll go this way. Oh, wait. I got turned around. This is where we came from. <laughs> so yeah, really the different paths, like these, don't offer anything too drastically different. It's just sort of different ways to go about. Um, Hey, drunky. Nope, can't interact with you. Well, it was worth a try. See if, you know, little brother did anything funny like trying to steal his booze. I love the scenery. It's so peaceful and serene right now. And... 
Now we've got a problem. We've got a dog. Okay. Gotta lure him one way so that the other one can run along. Oop, get up top. There we go. Yeah, dog can't really jump, so basically just gotta keep running. All right, you get up there. Yeah, you do not want to get caught by that dog. Ooh, that was actually a close one. All right, keep running. Lure him over there. Come on, come here, doggy. Come here, doggy. Yeah, chase the little brother. It's a very simple puzzle. You just have to keep moving. Lure him down here. Come on, there we go. And we get across with no incidents. Yeah, take that Farmer Bob's dog, whoever you are. All right, head on through. And we find a cave. Oh, wait, no, not a cave, that's vines. It was dark for a second, so I thought it was actually an opening in the wall. Climb on up. And now we head forward. It's, I mean, it's very linear game. There's not a whole ton of exploration. Though every now and then there will be little side things you can do that change it up just a little bit. Not drastically, but sometimes little side pursuits or achievements. No, 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 no. Stay, stay up top. Okay, now climb up. All right, I've got to get them on the right side of each other. Otherwise, I will confuse myself. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny, I have to admit. Yeah, specifically what you're not supposed to do is have them go for the same one. That was kind of funny that they bashed into each other in midair. All right, and now we've got a pathway here, which we need to have, I want to say, yep. You run, but it doesn't stay down. You have to keep running on it. Why are you on the roof? Why are you up there? All right, let's explore over here. Now, interesting thing is there's a bunch of bunnies, but one of them is white. Well, you know what? Can we like bring you separate? Like take you out of this area? No. I feel like there was something you could do with these, but honestly, it's been so long, I don't remember. Let's just, let me try setting you down in the ashes here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's what it was. Achievement unlocked bunny buddies for making the white rabbit black. So yeah, <laughs> he fits in with his friends now. That's one of the weirdest things ever. All right, that's one of those side things I was talking about that you can do. Here we go, Let's keep lowering it. Now, Big Brother goes across, grab one of the sheep, bring them back over, keep running with Little Brother, do not stop. So what happens if you stop? Oh! <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> okay, exit the wheel, and now that we have a sheep, we'll put him in there, and... He'll do the walking for us. I like little puzzles like that. Oh, can I do anything with the sheep? Oh yeah, he just pets them. I love it. All right, you know what? All of you deserve some petting. 
Good sheepies. Good sheeps. Let's move on a little bit. Some more sliding onward. And what awaits us over here? I remember a lot of the key points of this game, but I can't remember specifically when certain things happen. Also, it's kind of cool that now we can see where we've been. We're way up above the mean farmer's dog, but it gives you a feeling of perspective. And this game does that very, very well. A lot of times you'll go through an area and then you'll go through it at a different elevation to change it up. Ah, here we go. We encounter a troll. I think it's a troll anyway. He seems sad. Oh, he's kind of cute actually. I like his giant nose and the mushrooms growing out of his back. Oh man, that is a giant pot. Oh, he's being friendly. Oh. Pointing us in the right direction. He's actually a nice guy. All right. Lead on, buddy. Which way are we going? Going this way? Alrighty. I can't remember... What exactly... Oh yeah, right. He throws us! <laughs> I kind of love it. So, nice friendly giant. So, oh, you know what? Here's a bench. Let's have a seat and kind of reflect. Gives you a beautiful view of the scenery. You'll find a bunch of benches along the way as you go. It's definitely worth it to take some time to sit and kind of admire the scenery. All right, that's enough admiring. We'll move onward and he climbed up on his own way. So now, go okay I cannot see what's going on there we go perfect kind of crawl around or I guess we're clamoring more than crawling oh he's just hanging back and watching making sure we're safe oh I did not mean to let go of the button well, there you go. You get to see what happens when you die. Ah! Glitch. And... Oh, what the heck just happened? Oh my gosh, I broke the game. Let's restart the checkpoint. I got stuck in a glitch. And then he teleported. Okay, now let's let's do this the correct way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brothers, a tale of two glitches is what I should call this. Anyway, now now we're actually not going to, you know, let go and drop to our death this time. Instead, climb on up and actually progress. What happens? I'm trying to remember if you get too far away. Yeah, if you get too far away, it literally just won't let you progress on. And hey, here comes our troll friend. I think we have to have him toss us again. <laughs> Seriously, I love the look of the mushrooms. See? Oh, wait, no! Not tossing. <laughs> yeah, he actually becomes a bridge. It's so sweet of him. 
Well, that this, you know, big, scary-looking monster is actually one of the friendliest creatures you'll find in the game. Climb the vines. If I can actually go upward, thank you. Now, get to the top. Perfect. I think... Um... No. If we go right... Oh, we do go left. He's just gonna help us out. Perfect. Sort of like before. He becomes, you know, a cliff edge for us to grab on. He's so helpful. Alright, let's go ahead. I want to try to get to the end of this section. I feel like we're nearing the end of it. And do you... Nope, we don't fall down yet. I think he's going to toss us once more. So fun the way he just lumbers along. Just a happy troll, being friendly. Somehow, though, I don't think all of our, well, encounters on this journey are going to be quite so friendly. Just call it a hunch. Oh, and there he goes. Perfect. Now we head to the left and we should be able to climb up on this edge. Perfect. Now jump up again. We gotta be nearing the end of this section, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are. Our troll buddy hanging out with us. Um, which way are we going now? Wait for him. Kind of neat. It's like the opposite of an escort mission. Instead of trying to protect them, he's sort of protecting and helping you. So, yep, there he goes. Leap down. <laughs> Thankfully, he brought us through safely. And you know what? Let, let's get out of this little cave room and see what awaits us in the next vista. And I think that'll probably be where we'll call it. Climb on up and... It doesn't look like he's going to fit through there. So, we leave our friend behind and head on to a creepy cave. But, if you want to see what happens next, you're going to have to try it yourself. The game is really inexpensive. It's definitely worth checking out. It does some fun stuff and it tells an interesting story. So, I highly recommend it. Now, if you have any suggestions for other One Shot Saturdays, leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And... If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to click like and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter if you want to stay updated with news on the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.